And then the other guy, there was really only one other guy I had on my list to talk about. And then if there's more, you can go into them. But Jaheim Bell from Florida State. He was he was a great guy to interview. He was very polite, very, very articulate. And um, he was a uh, high school wide receiver. So he, he knew how to run routes. And his route running was good. And he's got good size and good strength. And uh, But he demonstrated the ability to outrun linebackers and safeties and that just surprised me um and that's who was you know trying to to cover him in that but um he does have some problems though he's uh uh he's got limited effectiveness in the run uh, blocking schemes Uh, somebody needs to show him how to engage and and then to stay with it too i don't i don't know why people think that they can just Push a guy with two hands, and the guy's not going to go anywhere. Right, especially uh, the, the these this level of offensive, or I mean, of defensive lineman. I mean, yeah, you can't just push a guy around. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I saw with Bell, I saw him at, at many a time. He was just overpowered at the point of attack, um, just due to him not being able to engage and stay engaged. So I think if somebody would fix that, he's a great receiver. He's got good hands. He's he's got a uh, very good vertical lead to him, and um, he'd probably be a fourth rounder. Out of all the tight ends I saw, he would probably uh, be the highest on that. And he's a big body. Now he's not all that tall. He's only six one, six two, uh, but he's got a big body to him. Whereas these other guys, um, Johnson. And um, the other one we talked about, they're six seven, six six, mm-hmm. um, and so Bell's only six one. So that could be an issue too. But uh, they've got to show him how to block and then stay with a the guy. 